Hey, welcome back. My name is Dino. Uh, this video is on the five box system. It's going to introduce the various parts of the five box system. What is the five box system? I'll do a quick introduction. The five box system is a way for organizing your research material that you're going to have to write a story as well as any other data. It also similarly helps to organize your writing. As a result, you know, I'm not really very like have a strong doctrine in terms of how to people to write. This is just one way to help you ease yourself into writing. The first thing it starts off with is the lead. In an academic essay format, this would be called the introduction. It's often spelled the lead, L-E-D-E -E or L-E-A-D. Both are correct. Basically, it's the first paragraph. It's where did you try to get as many of the five W's in as possible usually the who, what, where, when, and why. The lead starts with the story's factual basics early in your article. So you want to foreground your basic, like your bases, your facts, your basic information early on. The nut graph, I, I have another video on that elsewhere. Basically, it, the, in, the analogy, if you want to compare it to something, in an academic essay, this would be your thesis. Uh, the paragraph contains the core information about the story. So you want to make sure that that you know what this core is. It helps to tell the reader why this story is important, why they should invest their time in reading on. And it's often where the fifth W, the Y, and the H, the how, are placed. So you can kind of distinguish between that and the lead. Uh, the nut graphs, why and how, emphasize and demonstrate the importance of your story. The body. If you're used to more writing academic essays, the body is the retelling. This includes quotes, paraphrases, anecdotes, the chronology of your story. It helps with the amplification of the five W's and the, it's the largest chunk of your story. So it's basically the, the body. So it's like the, the, the major part. It helps to further expand your lead and nut graph. So, you know, the lead and nut graph are really the concentration, the core, the nub of your story. The body helps to, uh, you know, explain it, amplify it, and, you know, bring more texture and nuance to your story. Uh, something called uh, boring but important. These are any statistics or backstory that you can add. Here you want to provide evidence and history for your story. Obviously, you know, this is called boring but important. Obviously, you don't want to make it necessarily boring. Try to find interesting statistics, interesting backstory that make your, your uh, that bring color to your story and make it come alive. Finally, the kicker. An academic essay format or parlance that is the summary or conclusion. It's a summation often re refers back to the lead, so it makes a nice symmetry between the beginning and the end. It's something that will, the kicker is something that will stick in the reader's mind and will make them think that the time they have invested in reading the story has been worthwhile. You always want to have that. Uh, from this, the kicker summarizes and distills the importance of your story, and brings it to a nice tidy conclusion. That was the five box system. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to comment on it. Uh, what do you think of the lead? What do you think of the nut graph? Do you use these things? How about the use of the body to ex to explain your story and to flesh it out? What about uh, what stats and backstory do you use for the boring but important part? And do you have a kicker? Uh, finally, if you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. As always, thanks for watching.